Welcome to Vlogmas day eight. I honestly am very impressed with myself <laughs> for having made it this far and being so consistent. Like pat on the back for me. <laughs> so this morning I really just want to like pick up the living room space. It's like by no means terribly messy but um, you know it just feels nice to kind of spick and span. Um, is that I don't anyway uh, so the our kitchen is like a, a perpetual disaster um, the only thing about this place that is like very different about the last one I mean there's many things but like the biggest thing that was like a downgrade is that we do not have a dishwasher so I'm going to um, I'm going to do a bunch of dishes this morning um, in addition to vacuuming and just like picking up, you know, there's just like clutter around. Um, yeah, and then I think it'll just make me feel good. I feel like it's gonna take me like an hour and yet I keep putting it off and then it gets longer the more I put it off. <laughs> I'm gonna like do some dusting, do some vacuuming and sweeping. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm starting my morning off with. I might make another cup of coffee and just get comfy cozy for the weekend. Um, yeah, I hope you've been enjoying Vlogmas so far. I have been, I'm really enjoying all the engagement and the views and whatnot. So uh, thanks for still being here. Thanks for joining us and uh, let's get, let's get tidying. <laughs> I've never done this before, but we got this puzzle, super cute, that we did um, like the week between Thanksgiving and December. And I thought it would be really cute if we just like glued it because I've seen this stuff, puzzle glue. Um, and then we could hang it like above the fireplace with some command hooks or command strips. Um, but I've never done it before. <laughs> so it seems like pretty straightforward. There's like a blotter and you kind of just put it, but um, it does say to do it on a protected surface. So I'm going to put some parchment paper underneath it and then I'm going to slather it with glue. And then I sort of figure we can like pack it flat and like use it as like Christmas decor artwork uh, next year as well. So yeah, let's uh, see how this goes. Maybe like for some people, it seems sacrilegious <laughs> to glue a puzzle, but I think it's kind of cool. It's like a big piece of art that you spent time making and uh, yeah, we'll see. I mean, yeah. <laughs>
Uh, it looks so nice. Not a dirty dish in sight. But that took me so long. I did like 10 minutes of dishes and then like 10 minutes of knitting just to like motivate myself to get started. I don't know why I do this to myself, but there we are. Of course I have to put all this away, but maybe that can be Kay's job. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very happy. Everything is clean and I'm so close to being done with my book too, so. Whew. Ooh, the lighting's so bad, okay. Um, it is three. I am still in my pajamas because I was cleaning and I think it's time for me to change and go out and run some errands. I think I'm gonna get myself a little snack and then go look for some wrapping paper and then yeah, we'll see. So one of the reasons I went out was because I have a bunch of gifts that are kind of piling up that I need to wrap so I can put them under the tree. And I thought I would go to my favorite place, Collage. Um, they have a bunch of good gifty things, crafting, art supply stuff. And I looked through their wrapping and it wasn't really uh, singing to me, I guess. So then I went to our local grocery store where I picked up the makings of a charcuterie board for Kay and I tonight. And I looked through their wrapping paper and they had a really cute one, so let me show you. Rainbow trees. So to be honest, if I had like many, many more options, this probably wouldn't have been my first choice, but um, yeah, I thought it would be cute for this year. And yeah. It's cute. I think the presents will look really cute. And I can use some like fun colored twine and stuff on them. I also stopped by Modern Domestic, which is like a local sewing shop here. Um, I like was driving by and so I was like, oh wait, um, because I'm looking for a specific notion that unfortunately they didn't have. But um, I picked up some gift tags, like sew on gift labels for some of the knit gifts that I'm giving this year, um, which are super cute. And I also got a book that I have been um, wanting for my dye studio. So let me show you. So these are the gift tags. They're little fold over tags, super cute, just to acknowledge that they came as a gift as a Christmas gift. So I'll put one on my dad's scarf and one on my Yaya's shawl. And then this is the book that I got, Quilt Alchemy. And it's a natural dyer. Her Instagram handle is Farm and Folk. And um, I'm delving into dyeing a little bit more fabric. So I thought this would be a good resource. And then also just like, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful book. So yeah, that's, 
that's all there is. Um, like I said, I bought stuff to make like a charcuterie cheese board for Kay and I, so I'll film myself kind of getting that ready a little bit closer to the time that Kay is gonna get home. And then soon I'm also going to start the matzo ball soup. I also requested that Kay bring home some orange liqueur, some triple sec so that we can make cranberry margaritas tonight. So we're gonna have a festive night in. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, here's my little charcuterie board. So this is some Humboldt Fog, which is a really great blue cheese out of Humboldt, uh, California. And then I got this little cake at my favorite restaurant, Sweetie D, earlier. And then this is a harder cheese that was like aged with wine, it, I always like to have like a soft cheese, a blue cheese, and a hard cheese. <laughs> um, and then that's a brie. And this, per, these crackers actually said to eat them with apples, brie, and balsamic. So I have this like balsamic glaze. And we've got shortbread cookies, salami, a couple different types of crackers, some cashews, some, um, satsuma tangerines and some blueberries so that's a pretty well-rounded little board so Kay and I can snack while I make the matzo ball soup and of course this is so much food so we'll package up whatever is left and um, snack on it throughout the rest of the weekend and then I've also got our menorah uh, ready to light when Kay gets home so yay, so cute, so exciting. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 